Hello good people and welcome to Finance Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect and we grow. If you have been following our YouTube videos, we've covered how to use Word and Excel to create bulk PDF documents or do bulk printing. In this short video, we are going to continue that series of using mail merge, but this time around to send bulk emails. So if you have a list and you want to send custom emails to the people in that list, this is your video. Let's head to Excel and see how this is done. So to start off, you need to have your mail on standby. And here I have this typed in Word. So it's basically a simple reminder to people to pay the outstanding bill. Now the variable portions of this letter or email is the name of the person and the amount the person owes. Okay, so once I've done this in Word, I come to Excel and starting in cell A1, I create this database that contains the fields or columns of the variable portions. So I have the name, I have two names, but you can have as many as you want and the amount that the person owes here. It is important because we are going to use Outlook to send the email to have a column that contains the emails. I have that here. And of course, I have Outlook on standby to send the emails. So with this done, we come to our Word document and we come to mailings. And over here, we are going to start with select recipients. So under mailings, select recipients, and we are going to choose or use an existing list. There are options here. You can use it directly from your Outlook contact or you can type a new list. We have one in Excel, so we use an existing list. So I'll direct it to where my list is and I have it here in my desktop. And I OK this. It's important you confirm that the first row of data contains the column headers. So I click OK. So now I have my columns imported, the name, the amount and the email. So my goal is now to assign these columns or fields to their respective sections in this email. So I'll come. So dear, what I want here is to insert the name. Okay, with my comma. And then please be informed that your outstanding bill is that. So I intentionally put these dashes there to give you an idea. So this is the amount. Okay. So if you do a preview, you see how this is going to look like. Okay. And then you know that I have two here. So that is how it's going to display in there. So I'll toggle and then I have my default look back. Now, once we have this, we are going to finish our mail merge by going to this button. Okay. There are options here to print documents, but we want to send email messages. So we click send email messages and we get this dialog box. So the default is to send to an email, the column that we provided to contain the email addresses. We have the option to bring a subject line. So let's call this outstanding balance. And the mail format is an HTML, which is preferred. You can send all the records at once or send a particular list or portions of your database so we are going to send everything here and then i'm going to click ok so when i click ok i expect the mail to be sent from my outlook which is open on standby so now i click ok so what's going to happen now is when i come to my outlook you press ctrl m if you are in outlook ctrl m will force the send and receive so i'm expecting this email here send in so after a few seconds my send and receive process is over and i have the email here so i'll double click and here i have the version that was customized for me i expect the other email recipient to also receive his so you can send it again to as many people as you want as long as you have their names in the list you have in Excel. As usual, please practice and add it to your list of Office productivity tips. Thank you so much for watching. 
For more of these short videos, you can join our WhatsApp broadcast list. We send videos directly to you on Mondays and Fridays. You can send ad to this number or visit our YouTube channel for all our old videos. Please subscribe when you visit or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching and have a good weekend. Thank you.